the pictures every day with automated license plate readers to help catch moving criminals where officers are not present. Now, your license plate could be photographed without you ever even knowing. The number fed into a law enforcement database and cross-checked with those of people wanted on warrants. So critics are concerned that the growing use of that technology could violate your privacy. In tonight's Fox 40 Focus, Zach Boedo takes an in-depth look at the contrast between freedom and fighting crime. It's like having a police officer on every busy intersection all day, every day, taking pictures of your license plate, identifying where you drive, when you go, and how often. You are being watched. Everywhere you drive, photos are being taken of your license plate. They're collected and scanned into a local database, which can then be shared nationwide with other agencies. Local police and sheriff's offices, along with state and federal agencies, are mounting these special cameras called automated license plate readers along city streets. In Fairfield, a town of just over 41 square miles, the police department has 56 ALPRs along city streets, taking photos of license plates of every single vehicle that passes them, whether the driver is a criminal or not. It's one of those big things that gives you the tip before you knew it. Authorities say they help capture dangerous people wanted for a variety of offenses who otherwise may not be seen traveling through their areas. Where I see the value is the fact that it's, you know, it's aiding in things like kidnappings, robberies, murders, violent assaults, and you know, they're not using that information to go out there and do rogue things. They're using the information to solve these types of crimes. Flock Systems is one of the many companies that makes these cameras. It says the technology is helping stop crime. Across the country and in the state of California, right, we're seeing a, a wild reduction in crime. But one group called Oakland Privacy, which describes itself as a citizen's coalition that works regionally to defend the right to privacy, says the storage of data may go too far. You want them to target the effort towards specific criminals. And the question here is, are we directing the resources to the actual crime and the criminals, or are we just putting out this huge gauntlet and this huge net? that's impacting everyone. Here's how they work. The ALPR takes a photo of the license plate. That image is sent to a database where police departments have a hot list, which is an inventory of plates authorities are looking for. It could be a stolen car, a car used in a crime, or the car of someone wanted for breaking the law. If a license plate photo registers on that hot list, officers are notified of where the plate was captured on camera and when. Then officers have a lead on where to find that vehicle. Access to it, um is limited for law enforcement purposes only. Um, our officers, our dispatchers are not going through, they're just looking at random vehicles. Um, if they're looking at the system, they're looking for something that relates to a, a crime in the, in the investigation that they're conducting. This 2020 report from the California State Auditor studied four law enforcement agencies, the Fresno and Los Angeles Police Departments and the Marin and Sacramento County Sheriff's Offices. It concluded all four agencies had accumulated a large number of images in their ALPR databases, yet most of the images did not relate to their criminal investigations. In fact, 99.9% .9 of the 320 million images Los Angeles stored are for vehicles that were not wanted when the image was taken. When you're talking about that, you are talking about building this huge mountain of data that you're never going to use it really becomes a significant security and privacy risk. And it's not just one police department looking at the data. Trained officers can access the photos stored in the database and share the data with other law enforcement agencies for criminal investigations. The state auditor report also shared concerns over data security, the sharing of that ALPR data, and the oversight of ALPR users. It found across the state, a majority of agencies generally retain ALPR information for between six months and two years. However, the timeline police departments may save your license plate data varies by department. In both Fairfield and Galt, it's much shorter. We hold data for a very limited amount of time. Now, that data, if it becomes of evidentiary value in a crime, an investigation of a crime, uh, then we'll hold on to it longer through the disposition of that case. As with all emerging technology, there are concerns with flaws and the risk of being hacked. Both Galt and Fairfield use ALPRs designed by Flock Systems. Flock works with Amazon Web Services to store department data, utilizing what they call the government cloud, which uses AES-256 encryption, the standard for the intelligence community and the highest level of security offered.
All of the data is living within the AWS government cloud, highly secure. Our physical devices that are out in the world, they have no external facing IP addresses. So it's technically impossible to remotely hack any of our devices. While the concerns over public safety remain, ALPR policies are subject to audit every two years. Regardless, law enforcement we talk to say they'll make adjustments to work with whatever tools the public supplies them with to keep them safe. For Fox 40 News, I'm Zach Boeto.